Hey everybody, this is Alchemisted, and um, uh, this is Zone of the Enders. Well, this isn't Zone of the Enders yet. Zone of the Enders comes after this. This is just me giving a little bit of background on when I recorded this and why I never uploaded it. Um, uh, I will be using it. I will be uploading it this weekend, you know, because it's you know Easter and you know I'm taking a little bit of a break from recording, <coughs> and I'll uh, finish recording the basically the boss of Paris that I'm stuck on in Parasite Eve 2. Um, I want to say, this was recorded, I want to say, in late November, early December last year. And I went to GameStop, and I traded in a couple games, uh, Armored Core 4, which I absolutely despise, and of Command & Conquer 3, which I absolutely suck at. Um... I don't despise Command and Conquer 3. I really fucking hate Armored Core 4. Um, I hate it with such a... I could have... I was sorely tempted to... Um, do... To literally like play through the game with and collect footage from it. You know, to review it. To do like a full-on, you know, review of it. And I didn't destroy it because... I didn't destroy it. Nah. I didn't do it because I was just destroy that game fucking completely. It's just... The... Sheer amounts of rage I felt. Um, anyways. Still do, actually. Hate that game. Um, but. I, uh, was looking around, really just looking for stuff to play or record, you know, whatever they had. And I, um, ran across two games, uh, Zone of the Enders and Devil May Cry. And, you know, if you run across Devil May Cry, you know, pick it up, for God's sake. It's the first Devil May Cry. Um, it's the game responsible for launching the whole stylish action genre that you see carried through into the latest one, I believe, is Bayonetta, which takes all of the um, over-the-top fighting of the Devil May Cry games and just cranks it beyond 11 from what I've heard. I haven't played it myself, though. Um, I haven't played Devil May Cry 4 either. Ugh. But I picked up Zone of the Enders and Devil May Cry, and I wanted to play through one of them. Didn't, Couldn't decide which one, so I decided to pull a Harvey Dent and flip a coin. And I flipped the coin, lost it, found it, and it came up with Zone of the Enders. So I decided to play that one. Big fucking mistake. Um... Not that Zone of the Enders is a bad game. It's not. It's a, it's a good game uh, for when it came out. And, you know, like, playing it again nowadays, its issues show through more glaringly. But it is still a good game, if, even though it has a lot of bad things in it. Um, like Ada. The computer that uh, controls your um, flying... Uh, I have to come up with a new word to describe the way this mech looks. Um, don't feel like it, though, because every one of the possibilities are obscene. Uh, <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, those of you who've never played Zone of the Enders, those of you who have, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say I'm not quite sure how to describe the mech design in this game. Um, but the AI, which assists you in piloting your mech, and I use assist very loosely. I'm being very generous with that term. Um, <laughs> uh, I think there's like a... She's so goddamn annoying. Oh, What happened was, the reason you haven't seen any more of this, because when, when I was recording it, I got like... Ju I started feeling just monstrously sick. And keep that in mind when you get to the last few parts of this um, quickie that I felt like throwing up. I really felt just like terribly, terribly physically ill. Um, you know, like obviously not like, not like extremely physically ill. Like, oh god, I'm like, I can't even stand up. You know, like, I could record this set, but I just felt like imagine like, you know when you catch like a 24 hour bug, and you're not really that sick, but it feels like the deepest pit of your existence, like, the lowest point you could be. 
you know, you just feel like you're moving slow, and it's just, you know, every noise feels like you've been hitting the head with a hammer, and just, oh, yeah, I got one of those when I was recording. And it was completely aggravated by Ada. Now, I have nothing against this voice actress at all. Uh, I have another one of the games she was in, Star, which is um, Star Trek The Next Generation of Final Unity, which I play in DOSBox. Um... I was tempted to do a playthrough of that one, too. Anyways, uh, I have nothing against the voice actress, but the combination of, however, um, Kojima Computer Entertainment Japan, uh, or Konami, as most people, (laughs) most people consider it, most people consider Kojima to be Konami, um, I don't know. (laughs) Where the fuck was I before I went off on that? All right, um... I have nothing against the voice actress. I have another one of the games she was in, which is Star Trek The Next Generation of Final Unity, which is sort of like what Star Trek The Next Generation on the Genesis is, only, you know, obviously more expansive. Uh, made by Spectrum Holobyte, she was, um... What was her name? Tamara Butler uh, was the character she played. Um, but the combination of the voice actresses, um... Uh, however, they've digitally altered her voice... And the frequency with which, you know, the Ada pops up and, like, blares stuff in your ears. And I was was across the room from the TV, mind you. Okay, I don't record sitting close to the TV. I record, like, across the room from it. So, and it was still, like, felt like it was blaring straight in my ears. Um, It's already feeling sick? It was fucking terrible. I had a I had this monster headache. And, um... Good God. So keep that in mind. When you were watching the last few parts, I literally felt like throwing up. Because I just felt so sick. And I guess I just sort of shelved it, and I said, you know, fuck this game. Because Ada is so, so annoying. The, the character is so annoying. And targeting the camera and lock-on system, like, having played various games now of, you know, different genres, mech games, you know, what have you, third-person shooters, which this game is. This game is a third-person shooter. The camera controls in this game for a third-person shooter, you know, looking at it from the perspective today, uh, are fucking abominable. They are so goddamn terrible. Um... The camera controls in this game are just clunky and unresponsive. You'll see, you'll see me get really pissed off at the camera controls. I think at one point (laughs) and just start freaking out, and the mech just like starts like turning around, facing everywhere. (laughs) Um, the common like none of the weapons are useful at all. Combat in this game, it's almost like Arkham Asylum, only not good. You know, like, Arkham Asylum is, like, one or two buttons, but it, but the combat system still feels good. Uh, in this game, you get tons of special weapons. None of them are useful at all, um, except for uses the developers hopefully didn't intend. If they did intend them to be used specifically for this, they were probably fully aware of how much they sucked during development and shouldn't have made them that bad in the first place. You know, they shouldn't have released the game with them sucking that much. They should have gone back and reworked it if they were aware of how bad it was. Anyways, um, the combat in this game really amounts to two buttons. And you'll see me, like, there's, like, a move where you, like, spray energy beams out of your hands. Keep in mind while you're watching me play this that I'm only actually doing that on purpose maybe a fourth of the time. It happens automatically most of the time, and it's annoying particularly when you're trying to defend something and you accidentally spray tons of little blue bolts of death towards the people you're trying to defend and you kill off a bunch of people. And it's, ugh. But yeah, not a bad game. <laughs> I know I just made it sound terrible, but it really wasn't a bad game at the time. Um, any Play any game, play most games, years after they come out, and they will show their age. Um, I think that's about I think that's about all I wanted to say though I think that's about it 
So, Zone of the Enders. I do not plan on continuing playing this because I I had all the exact same issues I had while I was playing Code Veronica, frame rate issues, and I re- forgot to record in um, NTSC MJ right off the bat, which I was a lesson I was supposed to have learned from Code Veronica, and I apologize because it's so the first few videos are really dark. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Uh, enjoy my spiral into insanity and sickness, basically. <laughs> You'll hear it. You'll hear it in the final few videos. You'll hear me just sound absolutely miserable. Um, and I think I'm going to go... I don't know. I'll make some dinner. I'm going to go make some dinner and upload these videos, and I will see you guys later. So, later! Which, for you, will probably be in a few seconds. For me, it'll be sometime next week. So, yeah. So, go watch. Go play. Later.